Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a quilt block. The quilt block is called the Ohio Star and it's fun and easy to make and we only use four and a half inch and five and a half inch square fabrics to build it. Well let's get started. Begin by cutting your fabric. You're going to need one four and a half inch square of a and also for the dark fabric cut to five and a half inch as well as for the lighter fabric. And now we're going to draw a diagonal line on the lighter fabric of the five and a half inch squares. And now we're going to place the five and a half inch squares right sides together. And this is just optional, but I like to pin my blocks. And now we're going to be sewing on each side of the drawn line with a scant quarter of an inch. And I like using a stitch length right under a 2.0. And now we're going to cut our block in half and we're going to use the line that we drew on as our guide. And now we're going to press our blocks open and we're going to be pressing to the darker side. And now with matching the seams what we're going to do is put the opposite color of the blocks together and we're also going to be using the nesting technique. That's when one seam is going one direction and the other the opposite. And now we're going to add another line and that's where we're going to be sewing a scant quarter of an inch on each side. And then once sewn, remove your pins and we're going to cut on our traced line. And now we're going to iron our blocks open. And now we're going to trim our blocks. 
at four and a half inches square. You do not have to have a four and a half inch ruler to trim your blocks, however it does make it easy. And also it has a line, a diagonal line on the ruler and I place that right in the center to keep it all square. And now the assembling is going to begin. We're going to place our blocks. If you notice the top and the bottom, the triangles are the points you're going horizontal and the others are vertical. Then we're going to add our solid or a lighter fabric in the corners and then our dark square in the center. And now we're going to place our column two blocks onto column one and then we're going to sew them together with a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I'm going to chain piece mine together, so I'm going to stack my blocks in order. And I'm going to open the blocks and then I'm going to add our third column onto column two. And I'm going to sew with a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance. And now I'm going to iron the rows. The top and bottom row, I'm going to be ironing the seams in one direction and the center the opposite. And now I'm going to snip my connecting thread and then I'm going to match up the seams and I'm going to use the nesting technique where one is facing one direction and the other is the opposite and also to keep my points what I like to do is pin but I like to pin in a diagonal direction that way it keeps my fabric from shifting. And now I'm going to sew with a scant quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to repeat the same technique on this end.
can also remove any pins prior to stitching if it's in the way of your stitching. And now it's time to iron your block open and your block is complete. The blocks make really great tote bags, table runners, or even pillows. You can add sashing if you like. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Happy sewing. See you next time.